So we've got the extra pins here, 3.3 volts, and I'm just tying that to uh, all of them. This thing here is a functional tool. I really don't give a crap what it looks like and I uh, just wanted to get it operational as soon as possible because it's better than doing it by hand. So I don't really care, you know, I could actually design a separate board if I really wanted to eventually. Uh, then we can have all the terminals set up on there quite nicely. Uh, I think I might actually do that. Um, a few people would probably even use that on on their machines as well, so it just makes it a little bit more accessible. Then you can plug these units into the little uh, pin receivers. So all we have on here is uh, enable, that's yellow, and that goes up to our top left pin on the 2209. They actually had a nice little cheat sheet that came with the device. Oh, there we go, don't burn myself on the hardware. So that there will show us enable step direction these ones here are i think some diagnostic pins so you can use serial to actually uh, get error messages or reprogram it or something or other uh the ms1 ms2 those are your pulses per revolution or micro stepping that's what i couldn't remember before micro stepping configuration so yeah with those both tied to ground we are running at eight micro steps. That little potentiometer is to adjust our reference voltage for the motor and therefore the current. So wind that right down and then you know, up as per the regular instructions for the light placer. Uh, ground, that's just a massive ground plane. So I've only hooked up one. Make sure you've got fairly thick wires for your motor voltage and your ground plane, uh, ground wires. And as you see here on before, I've just connected to either side of those capacitors. So this is the most accessible link for me, M1A2. I've just kept the same pin out on here, so the wires are a little bit crossed over and a bit uh, not nice to look at. But anyway, ground, and then your 3.3 volts, uh, which I've linked across there. So that's it. So, yep, enable direction and steps. Steps the second last pin there. Direction. That's it, so yeah, don't forget to put the heat sinks on. Let's give it a go. Okay, so we've got it all wired up. Um, tell me if this isn't the dodgiest setup you've ever seen, because I will be impressed. It's all a uh, big work in progress. So this thing here is pretty, pretty good addition. Uh, we've got a vacuum sensor on there. I'll tell you what, it just gives you peace of mind because at least when it stops, then you know there's an issue and not that oh, it's just been plunging its nozzle into your circuit board and smashing components everywhere for the last half an hour and it's thinks it's finished so just got a little vacuum sensor up there uh avr that is serializing it and just a little usb connection straight back to the computer that integrates with light placer but i think i will actually migrate across to Open PAP uh, sooner rather than later. Okay, so I've just gone through, checked all the limit switches, make sure they're all good. Uh, one thing I'd mention is these little potentiometers, they will just spin all the way around, so it's really kind of difficult to figure out where your power limits are. And also it's opposite, so anti-clockwise is more power, not the uh, you know normal standard way of doing things. Obviously it's probably easier to lay out the circuit board or something. So if you've got that flat tab up that side there, Basically, that's 100% on that side there, 50% zero. So if your tab is on that side there, then you're at pretty much 0%. Uh, then if your tab is down the bottom, it'll be about 50%. So approximate it from that. I've not actually done the uh, nozzle stepper motor. I've left that on the original Tiny G because it really doesn't produce a whole lot of noise realistically it's just the xyz's that's the main one here we go
Very nice.